Welcome to the Edge of Greatness podcast. The path to greatness is never linear and requires patience and consistency. Join us on our journey as we peel back the layers of success searching for that elusive core. Each week we will explore a different component of greatness. Utilizing experts who have traveled some part of the path that we are all on, we aim to uncover insights into the areas of leadership, coaching, performance, overcoming failure, the power of habits, and so much more. We are all on the edge of greatness. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Edge of Greatness podcast. Welcome. Season 3 has fully kicked off. It has been incredible so far. We've had some awesome stuff show up in the first two episodes. And I've got three, four, five more big time episodes coming. So I'm excited to share those with you. But today what I really want to do is I want to ask you guys a question. I want to ask you about... How are you using your voice to impact the world? What are you doing to share your message? How are you developing your communication skills? Recently, I've been spending my weekends, uh, Saturday, on Clubhouse. There's a group that gets together. It's headed up by Joe Ferraro, the 1% Better podcast. And he hosts a damn good conversations chat room where we get to get together, talk about communication, improve our ability to ask questions and listen. And it's something that has brought a lot of awareness to me about the differences in way that people communicate, how we ask questions, how we listen, how we respond to questions, and how we direct conversations. And it's been incredibly enlightening. And that combined with last week's episode for me with uh, Jenny Rerick is opening my eyes to the value of being a good communicator. So I want to know, what are you guys doing to improve your communication skills? If you want to be a leader in this world, if you want to inspire people, you can only do so much if you're not sharing your message, if you're not using your voice, if you're not getting it out there, people aren't going to jump on board and listen and follow. To some point, at some time, you're going to have to step out in front of people, get a little uncomfortable, and start to use the voice that you have to share your message. And and that's the biggest thing I want to take away from some of these early episodes in this is these are people who are using their voice to share their story and get information out there to you to make you better. It's why podcasts work. It's because people are willing to to share using their voice, their stories. And I know speaking is uncomfortable. I know talking in front of people is not easy. And for me personally, I don't necessarily like being on camera. I don't necessarily like, initially when I first started talking, I didn't like the sound of my voice. I thought it was going to sound different. And I think that's something else that happens along the way is when we first start to talk and we first start to get our voice on audio platforms, you listen to it and you go, wait, that's not, that's not me, is it? That's what I sound like? And it's a little bit uncomfortable. It's a little bit unnerving. But if you don't work on that, if you don't communicate consistently, your message is never going to be clear. If you think about all the people who inspire you, if you think about the people who, when they talk, you really want to listen, when they do something, you follow. It's usually somebody who has a charismatic approach to delivering messages. You know, we like actors and actresses because they deliver powerful messages and it's entertaining. Same with the great leaders of this world, the great leaders, the great coaches, the great, you know, back in the day, the great political leaders. I wouldn't say today because I don't think we have had a great political leader in a while. But if you look at the old political leader, they delivered powerful speeches. They inspired people to move into action. And that's what I am hoping to do through the development of this podcast is to improve my ability to deliver my message and inspire those to achieve and chase greatness. But I can't do it without the power of my voice. It wouldn't do any good if I just wrote out a bunch of blog posts and then said, hey guys, here's my podcast. It's a blog, it's blog post. I'm going to read the message to you. 
it, there's nothing to that. There's no emotion to that. There's no authenticity to that. You don't get to know me. And, and I think that's the other thing with when you start to use your voice, you open yourself up for people to know you and to get to experience what you're doing. And I think there's a lot of value in that. But you have to get over the fear of putting your voice out there and letting people listen to you. So what I want to do is I want to challenge all of you. I want you guys to this week sometime add a recorded message about anything, anything you want. Take a topic, something you're passionate about, something you're even just wanting to question others about. So you're proposing a question to somebody else. But I want you to record it. I want there to be a video. I want there to be your voice involved. And I want it to be posted either to your social media stories, to your actual account if you are comfortable with doing that if you don't want it to disappear like you know in 24 hours or however that works but post something to the world something that has your voice attached to it something that has a chance for me and those around you who follow you to get to see you to get to feel your passion to get to know you and get it out there if for right now you're uncomfortable with that send it to my DMs. My DMs are open. All my social media platforms, you can private message me and I will watch your video and give you feedback to the best of my ability because obviously I'm still learning how to be a better communicator myself, but there are certain things that I can see and I'm aware of when I notice them. The other thing of this is that you can also email me through my website and by getting your information out there, by putting your, your story into the world, I think you might surprise yourself with how many people might resonate with it and it might impact them in a positive way. But let's start to use our voice. Let's get it out there. Let's be the change in what the social media platform is and get away from being a keyboard warrior and typing all of our stuff and responding things via text. And let's develop our ability to communicate. Let's become articulate with how we talk. Let's be better at enunciating and taking pauses and delivering impactful messages. I don't expect everyone to listen to this podcast and be like, man, I want to talk in front of thousands of people. That's not what I'm talking about. You don't have to be somebody who gives speeches to huge crowds to become a better communicator. Communication can be you and a colleague. It can be you and a random person you meet at the grocery store. Communication isn't something that has to be done in a, on a grand scale. If you get to that point, great. I think that'd be amazing. If we get more people who are comfortable and powerful public speakers, I think we see a change in the way we receive messages for sure. But to start, let's get away from just talking to our friends all the time. And how do we communicate when it's not somebody who's in our inner circle? Because we communicate different when it's a friend. We communicate different when it's a loved one. When we communicate with somebody who we don't necessarily fully know or at least not to the level of a friend or a loved one, we change the way we deliver a message. And as a good communicator, you can make a much more impactful statement on the world. And that's not just saying the global scale. Again, I say the world because we're all living in the world, but I don't necessarily mean you have to make a statement on all of the United States or the entire world with your message. But the better you are at delivering your message, the more impact you have and the more influence you have. And as a person, if you're in the just the workforce, the easier it is for people to collaborate with you. The, the better you are at giving direction of where you need the project to go or giving feedback to somebody. These are all things that if you communicate well, you can do more effect- effectively and your team will become better. The projects will become stronger. And, and that's a big piece of this. So Let's develop that communication skill. Let's challenge ourselves to be better when it comes to talking and getting our words out there and hearing our voice and being okay with it. Use that gift. We all have a unique voice. We all have the ability to impact people through the way we communicate, but you have to be willing to put it out there. You have to be uncomfortable at first because it's different and you have to learn the different pieces of what it is to give a good speech, to give a good presentation, and it doesn't happen overnight. So like I said, go back, listen to the interview I had with Jenny Rierick. She had some awesome tips and pointers to help you get started. If you are somebody who's closer to actually giving presentations, don't be afraid to reach out to her. I'm sure she'd be happy to work with you and refine your presentation and develop some of those skills that you're looking for. 
But in the meantime, take my challenge. Let's see what you can do with it. Put it out there on your social feeds. I want to see a bunch of videos on my feeds this week. I'd love to hear from you personally if you'd rather reach out that way. But either way, as always, guys, keep reaching for the stars. Fall flat on your face. But remember, whenever we fall, always get up. Thank you for joining us today on the Edge of Greatness podcast. We hope you enjoyed today's episode and join us again next time as we continue to dig deeper into the key components of greatness. The path to greatness is never linear, so remember to keep pursuing greatness no matter what. Keep stretching your abilities, reach for the stars, and fall flat on your face. But no matter what happens, remember, whenever we fall, always get up. Until next time, I'm Charles Schultz, and this was the Edge of Greatness podcast. Thank you for listening to today's episode. Please take a moment now to subscribe, rate, and review our show. We are all on the edge of greatness.